Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna check out the Soundstone Guitar Sustainer. Let's get it. This video is technically sponsored by the fine folks at Soundstone. They were kind enough to send this product over for me to check out. As an ambient player, I've always been curious about these types of products, but I've never really bit the bullet on them. I was so shocked when I unboxed this thing. Not only did they include a t-shirt for me, but they also included not just one, but two sustainers. You're gonna wanna watch the whole video and stay to the very end so you can check out what I'm gonna do with the second one. And lastly, to my surprise, they also included one of their glass slides. Funny enough, I've always associated these two products together, a slide and a sustainer in this kind of format because I don't know, it's just always felt like they go hand in hand. Of course, alongside with some delays and reverb. Now, it's my understanding that this thing works magnetically and therefore it depends on the vibration of the string and that, I guess, steel hitting the magnets. Yeah, I don't know. But either way, it somehow works. I'm not even sure how. I didn't invent this thing. I just want to finally try it out. So without further ado, let's actually put this thing into action. I'm going to be using my Nick Johnston Schechter guitar and let's hear what it sounds like. And there you have it, just as I had hoped, pretty much ambient heaven, at least in my opinion. Now, this thing is really interesting. It allows me to tap into sounds and tones that I just don't have access to here in the studio. It's a very, very unique product and it brings out unique sounds out of your guitar. 
But I got to tell you, there are some cons with this thing. And it's not that I have problems with the product itself. You just need to know certain things. It's not as easy as taking it out of the box and slapping it onto the strings and thinking you're going to go right to sustain heaven. For whatever reason, I just automatically assume that the product itself is what vibrated. And ultimately, when you brought it to the strings, it would vibrate the string and cause it to sustain. But that's not what's happening. So for me, there was a long learning curve and to the point where I felt like I'm not sure if I ever quite got it down to where I feel comfortable with this thing. I would compare it to using a slide. In my opinion, the best action to have is a relatively high action when you're trying to use slide. And I think that that is sort of the rule of thumb with this thing. It felt like because my guitars weren't set up for high action, I was banging into the pickups and getting these weird overtones and it took a long time for me to find the sweet spot. Same thing goes with the slide, but I kind of already knew that. And so I was using the slide respectfully because I am not a slide player, but I know that I tend to sound a little bit better on slide when my action is set up a little higher. So I think that if you're going to use these products in conjunction with one another, you're going to want to make sure that your action isn't super low. Now, is that really a con? No, it's more on the user. I think the product works just fine. I do kind of wish that this it was a little bit easier for me to for me to make contact with the string. I, I felt like there were times where I would miss the mark. And again, that's user error, but still it just felt a little more complicated than I had anticipated. So for sure, if you're looking to use these products, you got to make sure you take some time to practice. Overall, it's a fun tool to have here, especially with the kind of music that I do and the stuff that I tend to record on a weekly basis. I know it's not going to be the last time I personally use this product and I can't wait to utilize it in upcoming recordings. But as I mentioned, they didn't just send me one, they sent me two. If you haven't noticed, I'm actually pretty close to breaking 3,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So I've decided that I'm going to give away one of these sustainers when I hit 3,000 subscribers. What do you have to do to win this thing once we hit 3,000 subscribers? Simple. Number one, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Number two, send me an email with the subject line, Soundstone Giveaway. That way I can have access to you personally and your email. You're going to email me at jcruzproject at gmail.com. And then number three, you're going to come back to this video and comment below saying giveaway. And that's it. Three very simple, simple steps. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of scammers out there who are taking advantage of these sorts of giveaways. So it's imperative that you do not respond with any kind of personal information just to anyone, right? Make sure you look at that email address. Make sure it's coming directly from me. The only time you will get a response from me is if you actually won. Once I indicate that you have won, I'm only going to ask you for two things, a name and a shipping address. That's it. I'm not going to ask you for banking information. I'm not going to ask you to send me money to pay for shipping. So if you get any messages like that, it is not coming from me. And remember, I'm not going to actually give this product away until we break 3000 subscribers. So please make sure you tell a friend to subscribe, enter the contest so they have a chance to win this product as well. I want to once again, thank the folks at Soundstone for sending this product over. I definitely need to practice more to do this thing justice uh, that's for certain if you want to check out more of this company check out the links in the description box below i also have some other affiliate links that you can click on that do help this channel a little bit guys thank you so much for watching and until next week